awesome people it's your girl kiana coming back to you guys with another youtube video and if you're new to this channel this channel is all about building a great relationship with god together and so today we're going to talk about fear what does god have to say about fear how does god want us to handle fear when fear creeps up on the inside of us are you scared of something are you scared to go places alone are you scared to just tackle something that you may put that may put you out of your comfort zone are you afraid why god doesn't want you to be and so here is where we're going to find out why he doesn't want us to be and what he says about fear so let's get started with the video so the first scripture we have about what god has to say about fear is isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 and it says fear not for i am with you be not dismayed for i am your god i will strengthen you i will help you i will uphold you with my righteous right hand so let me just tell you guys i am one of those people who have that you know who had struggles with that you know that spirit of fear that god does not want us to have so let me just tell you that you're not alone because i'm one of those i'm very guilty of it my mom always she used to tell me kiana what are you scared for god is not giving you a spirit of fear snap out out of it so i'm here to tell you guys the same exact thing so it says he's with you god is saying he's with you what are you afraid of like we said in the other video the other day if god is for you who can be against you nobody so god is saying for i am your god if you need help i'm going to help you if you feel weak i'm going to be your strength if you feel like that you can't do this alone god is saying hey hello and also it says i will uphold you with my righteous right hand he's got you no worries is what that verse is saying so the next scripture we have second timothy chapter 1 verse 7 for god gave us a spirit not of fear but of power and love and self-control and that's that scripture that my mom always used to say to me so for example if you're scared to do something young ladies and young men men women everybody god is saying once again fear not I gave you power of self-control, love. It's in you. Tap into your inner child of the Lord. Tap into your power. It's a renewal in your mind, you guys. A renewal in your mind that anything that I put my uh, strength and courage and power to do, I can do it. Because who's who got my back? Jesus got my back. The Lord got my back and he ain't gon' never leave me nor forsake me. He ain't gon' never, uh, uh, okay, I ain't mean to take out of church. But listen, <laughs> he's right here. Imagine yourself walking around with this all-powerful being behind you. Like, visually, like, close your eyes, think about it. Think about it right now. And so, you walking around... You, you, that's how it is. He's saying that he's with you right now. You don't have, you probably just the littlest thing like me. I'm just the littlest thing. But my daddy, come on, try me. He is walking with me. I talk to him daily. We have a wonderful relationship. We're building a great relationship. And so he got my back. He said, if I'm for you, who could be against you? God wants you to walk around like you see him walking back behind you because he is he's he's watching over you he has his angels protecting you he's surrounding you and god says picture me everywhere you go because that's how it is that's how it's gonna be because you're my child so don't be afraid okay so the next scripture we have first john chapter 4 verse 18 and says there's no fear in love but perfect love casts this out fear or cast out fear for fear has to do with punishment and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. There's no fear in no love. So I, I what I get from that scripture, you may get something else different. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm getting that. Like if you're in a relationship with somebody and you fear to do say certain things or do certain things with this person and you're scared of their reaction, how they will respond to you just saying the littlest, littlest thing like, well, I think, or I don't want... You shouldn't be scared of your partner. It's what that person said. There's no fear in no love. That's what I got. Now, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment. Uh -huh. Fear and love don't go together. Psalm chapter 34, verse 4. It says, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. 
So God is saying that verse who Psalms, that person sought out the Lord. He asked the Lord, help me, Lord God. I, I'm, I'm a little scared. I don't know what to do. I can't do this. I need your help. That's what the Lord is, is encouraging us to do by that being in the Bible is saying, if you seek after me, if you ask the Lord for help, he's going to cast any fear out of you. Ask the Lord, please remove this fear that I have on the inside of me to do this certain particular thing. Please help me. And he's going to help you. It's Psalm chapter 23, verse 1 through 6. A Psalm of David, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the uh, walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You can anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. That, <laughs> that scripture right there, it immediately put me in the mind of my uh, comp two class. I had a wonderful teacher and he had us to redo this poem and we had to do it. Like the, it had to be the same type of meaning as how the scripture is. And, but it had to be two different things. We had to compare, like I think I compared um, oil for my car or something so I was like the oil prepared my car for the oil is a shadow of the death of my car you know it was something like that but that's funny that's another story but it's basically a prayer a, a prayer to the Lord reminding himself that the Lord is there to help him he's going to be with him he's going to provide a table in, in front of his en enemies you shouldn't be afraid if something is going on in your life right now that you feel like that you're the only one alone and everybody's looking at you like you crazy and you're trying to serve the Lord and you're trying not to fit in and you're trying to do what's right and you're at the fence and you're just like, oh, I'm so scared. Oh my God, not to say he's with you. He's going to provide a table for you in front of your enemies, ones that are looking down on you or making you feel in some type of way that is not good. God says he's got you. He's with you. He wants you to be still he wants you to continue to be righteous because those who are humble will be honored and those who are righteous will live and have a life full of abundance joshua chapter 1 verse 9 and it says have i not commanded you be strong and courageous do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the lord your god is with you wherever you go god wants you to be strong he wants you to be courageous because like I said, he is with you. Let somebody mess with his child. God is all powerful and that's what I want y'all to understand. You don't play with that man. Just as well as he, as he puts out good, he just as well as he punishes. God loves you enough to punish you. So you can do what's right. Just like your mom and dad, they love you enough to discipline you so you won't go out acting a fool and doing stuff that they didn't teach you. Same way with our Father, our Heavenly Father. He loves us so much. He loves us so much that He is going to protect us, give us the strength that we need, be the provider that we need in our lives. But He also punishes just as well as He can give out good. He can give it to you if you decide to act a fool. Stop playing. That's what He's saying. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with my children. It's in the word, you guys. It's in the word. I'm telling y'all. It's in the word. I'm so excited. Psalms chapter 56, verse 3 and 4. 3 through 4. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you, in God, who whose word I praise. In God I trust. I shall not be afraid. What can flesh do to me? Again, what can flesh do to me? You put your trust in God, you guys. Nobody can do anything to you. God is going to. He's going to protect you from any and every little thing that is trying to go against you because you are his child. But you have to be in the right. Let's say that you have to be in the right. You have to be pushy to be righteous in your life. You have to be the one who is kind, the one who is holy, the one who is trying to get closer and closer to God. And if you're trying to get closer and closer to God and you're putting your trust in the Lord, flesh can't do nothing to you. People can't say they can say whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. Still, they won't be able to mess with you and what you got going on in your life because your father is taking care of you and you're putting your trust in him and you're doing what he says you to do. He says that he's going to give you the life 
that you want all of your heart's desire and then some you guys it's important to not be afraid god is not giving us anybody a spirit of fear he's with you wherever you go and if you ask god for help if you have trouble with uh, because you're afraid to do something he is going to help you just like said in psalms seek out to the lord for help if you're afraid about something Comment down below of anything that you might have been afraid about or anything, any type of encouragement that you guys would like to share about fear, tackling fear. I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you like this video, please like the video right now. Subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more content from me. Bye-bye now.